Hey boys, what's going on? I just Rengar here, and today I'm coming at you with a Rengar Revert discussion. So, uh, a lot of people have been messaging me, and they've been like, yo, check out Rengar main subreddit, go look at it, and look at what the Rengar Revert discussion says. So this is the Rengar Revert, Revert discussion. Uh, it's from Riot August Stream, who's working on the project, and this is a summary by Tanner Ben 1771 so thank you for this. It has like over 100 upvotes down on Rengar main, so I'm just giving them credit, that way you guys know where it came from. I didn't write all this out, although I did try to make a little bit of uh, grammatical errors less grammatically. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay, so anyways, boys, uh, looking at this, we can probably just go down through the list. I mean, obviously, you can just read it right now and then leave if you want, but I'll just kind of give my thoughts on everything, and I'll probably write out a little, a little bit about each change as I go, and then at the end, I can probably just leave this as like a link you guys can go to in the description, and you can just look at it, or you can just pause it whenever you want, something like that. So, to start off, let's look at this. So, he is positive that Q should be able to crit. So, what does this mean? This means that the crit build is going to be good again. Now, everybody had like a different, like a slightly different crit build back when you would go crit build with old Rengar. Mine personally was Yomu's, but you don't want to go Yomu's anymore because Duskblade is way stronger. So, you would go Duskblade, in my opinion. Static Shiv. Now, the reason why you go Static Shiv, a lot of people were saying, uh, why would you go Static Shiv when instead you could go for a Phantom Dancer and then have that increased uh, combat one-on-one? -on -one? Well, personally, I like the Static Shiv because it gave you what's called Burst Potential. Now, <clears throat> when you go, like, PDIE, yeah, you're going to probably deal a little bit more confirmed damage, but Rengar's a Burst Champion, he's all about Burst. So, if you go for a Shiv and an IE, that gives you the potential to get, instead of, like, just a PD giving you that crit damage with the IE itself, so the 250% bonus crit damage, it gives you the static Shiv bonus crit damage, which is, like, 300, and then that's multiplied by 50%, because, I mean, it's 300 when it crits. So then it's, like, a 400 damage static Shiv proc, which is ridiculous when you consider that Dust Blade's gonna be 300 damage. Uh, probably like 200 though at the time that you get static so 200 plus like 300 and then you get the infinity edge so then you're you're gonna go for the ie after this then i would go phantom dancer and then i would build into an essence reaver now the reason why i would do this is just because phantom dancer is going to give you the 30 percent crit chance so then you're going to have 80 percent essence reaver is going to top you off and it's going to make it so you get to either 30 or 40 percent cdr I, f I forget but i think that it's uh I think it's 30%, but it was 40% back when you get up CDR runes. So that's that's what I like. Now, the cool thing about this build, and it's going to transfer over to this next point, which is he's positive, should give attack speed. Um, it should give him attack speed. So looking at this, what does this mean? This means that this above build is going to be really viable. The reason why is because this above build would give you 400 AD. It would give you 100% crit chance. And with old Q's attack speed, it would give you 2.5 attack speed. And it was just ridiculous damage. Oh, by the way, I, I did leave Hydra out here. You can put it in somewhere if you want it, but I personally just didn't like going it. I like to rush this more. But you can go Hydra, and I think that I probably will be going Hydra a little bit more because it helps with power farming. Uh, but Static Shiv also does help with that a little bit. But yeah, yeah, okay, so that's besides the point. So going back to here, 400 AD, 100% crit, 2.5 attack speed, and then it has that little bit of 18 lethality right there. And that's not talking about any of the passives of these items, which they all actually have really good passives, and 30% CDR. So, as you can see, this is a really, really clean build. Uh, and this is talking about with, with his attack speed bonus going on from his Qs. This isn't just flat what this build gives. With this build flat, I think that it gives like 1.8. But with the Qs, it gives 2.5. So and that's what that is. So you will possibly tune base stats and jump stats. I think that what they're meaning by this is, okay, maybe this means that he's going to do more damage when he jumps. Maybe it means he's going to uh, have a longer leap or a shorter leap. I'm not sure. Uh, but what I think it means for base stats is if they keep Bone Tooth the same, which I heard that they might, they're going to turn the bonus AD. Because you know how you get uh, like 1, 3, 7, 13, 20 bonus AD? They're going to turn that uh, into base AD, so it counts as base AD, so you can build Triforce and stuff like that. Well, they, they were trying to. That's what I that's what I heard. So that would viable would make it so like a Triforce build would be viable. So keep that in mind. So I think that's what they mean by tune base stats. Maybe that or just make him stronger or weaker in base stats in general. So it should be out in 8.3. Yay! 
I mean, that's all I really have to say for that. But yeah, 8.3, that sounds clean. I was thinking that it'd be 8.4. It's still probably good to think 8.4, just in case it comes a little bit late, but 8.3, hey, that's still pretty good. So, 5, one of the main goals was to bring back the diversity of old Rengar. And this is really, really good, because this is going to mean you can go for the armor pen build, you can go for crit build, you can go for bruiser build, you can go for tank build, tank, tank build, you can go for all these different builds, and they're all going to be, like, viable. You can, like, use all of these. Um, they all have different build paths and stuff like that. I'm not going to go in-depth on those right now, but in a little bit, I might make another video, kind of go in-depth with the different types of builds, if you guys would be into that. So, he thinks that crit AP tank, oh, oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. AP. I was hearing that he might actually make it so the AP will be able to be used for Rengar. So P1, the AP Rengar, I mean, is probably going to be really happy about that. So I, I also heard, just really quick before I move on to this, that the bonus AD might also turn into bonus AP and be adaptive from Bone Tooth. So like 1, 3, 7, 13, 20% bonus AP if you go AP. Uh, that would be really, really good. Anyways, continuing. He thinks crit, AP, tank, lethality, etc. are all good builds and will be possible on his new kit. Yay, we're going to hit it with another one of those. This is just really good. Encouraging diversity, always going to be nice. It's going to be really, really fun to play, to play with, etc. You're just going to have a really good time. So, his new jungle clear will be very smooth feeling, but he said starting rappers will not be meta. Well, right now, starting rappers isn't meta, but I'm assuming that he means, like, getting raptors early like before you have a t amount or before you have a lot of uh, damage for the raptors so i think that's what he meant um that's fine though you can always get around doing the raptors if you don't want to do them it's pretty easy actually you just you know don't do them uh <laughs> i might come up with a clear video i you know i will i will come up with a clear video when old rengar comes out and i'm gonna make it show you guys what i do how i do it what I do at different stages of the game, etc. So be looking forward to that. So we'll figure out a way. Okay, they want Rengar to still be able to one-shot very squishy targets, ADCs, but also have more team fighting potential. Okay, this is good. I mean, yeah, I really like that Rengar is going to have more team fight potential. He used to be really good at team fighting, actually. And then they... I mean, he's still like, okay. Hey, team... No, he's, he's not, unless he has his ulti and he's fed, but he's not the best at team fighting unless he plays it, like, really, really well. But I really liked old Rengar with team fights because new Rengar can one-shot, like, a champion, and then if he's really lucky, he can assassinate, like, an entire team, like, if he gets super, super lucky. But old Rengar... Whew, old Rengar could get pentakills, my dude. So they want Rengar to still be able to one-shot very squishy targets, but also have more team fighting potential. Hit that with a yay. Uh, that'll be amplified, actually, if you do go for a Ravenous Hydra slash Tiamat. That'll give you a lot more damage in those situations. So, 8.5. And there is room for another item in this build, so you could do that. Uh, so, 8.5. His new Q will be weaker than old Q, but will get better with Bone Tooth stacks. So, abilities scaling with Bone Tooth sounds a little feast or famine to me, which is what Riot said that they didn't want to do when they removed Sword of the Occult. So, ha <laughs> Thanks, Riot. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I, I can understand that. I mean, already it's like... I mean, already, like, the old Q gets better with Bone Tooth stacks as a bonus AD. So I'm just kind of curious to what Bone Tooth stacks is. So what do Bone Tooth <coughs> stacks do now would be my, like, question, kind of. Nine, they believe Rengar's new goal should be to one-shot a squishy if possible, but if he cannot, he should be able to DPS someone in a team fight. This kind of goes along with this, so... Nice. Uh, hit him with the nice Nisu. Um, that sounds good to me. I think that, that would be pretty spicy. And 10, new alt will reveal all players nearby, but will have a much shorter range and duration. So basically, that sounds like it's going to be just like old Rengar R, except I have this feeling, this sinking feeling that he's still going to be camouflaged. So my, like, kind of question would be camouflaged or nah. I think that I misspelled that. I'm, how do I even spell cam? All right, you know what? I'm going to delete that until I can flage. I don't think that that's how you spell it. How am I so stupid? Alright, whatever. Camo or not? Yo, I should have just typed that from the start. Well, anyways, guys, uh, these were my opinions, and this is probably what I'm going to be going for a build when it does come out. If it does come out, I think that it should, but there has been, like, a little bit of doubt. Again, shout out to TannerBen1771 on Reddit for making this summary, because I didn't have time to watch Riot August stream. So this is really nice. It's good to know. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, even though I wasn't really making any gameplay. I will probably make a lot more gameplay in the future. I just wanted to get this out because a lot of people liked my other 
revert opinions video and i just want to show everybody that doesn't use rengar mains the subreddit what they're kind of missing out on and what they could see there and if you guys aren't going to use it then i'll just keep updating you with more information so thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day